Okay, so uh, my name is Joël Chevrier. I am a professor of physics at the University of Grenoble in the southeast of France. And um, I've been a teacher all the time in first year at university for freshmen and I teach, teach them uh, physics. Essentially, uh, what's all about displacement, trajectory, how you move, acceleration, speed, velocity, and that sort of thing. So, and as everybody, a few years ago, I've been offered a smartphone, and suddenly I realized as a physicist that the smartphone is, of course, very interesting and useful as a smartphone, but it is also really a physics lab. So the way to use that as an instrument is very good. We can do very advanced experiments with the smartphone together with students. And that's a very important point because for physicists we want to do quantitative stuff. We don't want just to do approximate or uh, in general or qualitative. We want to enter in the real measurement we do in our labs. It comes really to the frugal science in a sense that nothing to be added. You just, if you're interested, let's say, I got my smartphone in my pocket now. If you're interested in a displacement like a rotation, then you do only this. And that's a rotation. And that's already is an experiment. So it means that we take the real course that we teach at university, all the major concepts that we have inside this course, and we say, okay, for each of these concepts, what kind of key experiment can we do for the students? The most famous one is the pendulum. You have to get pendulum everywhere when you do physics, and you like it very much, essentially, because it was a clock. That was the way to measure time over, over the, the centuries when there was no fancy things like a quartz clock or, the, or to the nowadays atomic clock and that sort of thing. So we're still studying pendulum, and that's very important for students. How do you do a pendulum experiment with a smartphone? Well, that's very easy. You take the cable charge, you just suspend your smartphone with that, and you're finished. And you're just using your hand to do this, and that's enough. And you do, just like this, you do a very good pendulum experiment. That's exactly the question now, because we started essentially working with students at university. Now we have two lines in developing this project. One line is to say, okay, we should teach teachers. We should introduce teachers to this pedagogy, to this new way of using the smartphone. And I did that a lot in the recent months and years and the first thing is that for them what I said about the way using smartphone and the new pedagogy that is triggered by the use of smartphone is kind of a surprise. Now the next step we have is that for the students the point is to say how, how do we explain them uh, that they can do that not only at university you're following a course in a university and that university it's not so easy to build this uh, these experiment or to use the, uh, the equivalent of a smartphone if you want to do it in the lab. So we have to um, explain and diffuse and make popular the fact that smartphone can be used this way. And that's where we are now. A tool to do that, to, uh, to contact students and show them what they can do even alone, maybe in collaboration with us and having a kind of a community around, is that we're building a MOOC uh, this massive open online course and it's, com it's going to be called experimental classical mechanics and smartphone with all the machines around and the way the things are moving you see then science and technologies are everywhere in the life that's for everybody that's everywhere on the for uh, doesn't matter your age or your education or your culture or where you're coming from, you're facing every day the presence of science and technology. So it's a, it's a kind of a uh, maybe important to have a literacy in this field because it's also a way to cope with the world you're in. Well, I believe we sh it's our responsibility to equip people with a kind of a understanding of the key concept of the major question in science so then they can cope with the world as it is now.